I'm inside Ozark Trail's eight person yurt tent. This is a cheap, this is the cheapest yurt that you can probably get your hands on. But is it worth getting your hands on? Well, I'm Ryan with Beyond the Tent, and this is a first look at the Ozark Trail eight person yurt tent. Let's check it out. Before we get started, just a few quick notes about this tent. It's an eight person tent, obviously. Ozark Trail and Walmart. That means cheap, right? This is $110 off Walmart right now. And uh, if you've ever looked for a yurt tent, like I've got a canvas one, it's wonderful. I spent about $1,000 on that tent. So 110 to have a little fun in, get that same kind of big tent, you can set up that luxury gr glamping feel and really have some fun for 110 bucks worth trying out also it's it's kind of heavy it's about 22 pounds but i will tell you my canvas tent um i'm trying to think i think believe, i believe it's a 15 foot radius we'll compare the size when we get in there a little bit more but that thing's brutal that has to weigh about 100 pounds so it's not that heavy for how large it is how big this is for yurt tents, so let's set it up, check it out. So, this is really cool. The table is set up, it holds the uh, pole in place here. You can see the spot in the bottom right there, and it just holds the pole. We have a little spot in the top, and we set that up. Now, we're gonna go around the edges here and uh, set these poles up. See how that goes. You can see here that there's a little holder right here for the pole. And this guy just goes right in here. And then there's a little notch down in the bottom here, a little pocket that holds it in. We got three of the poles up. Got three more and then we'll go outside and put the uh, lines up everywhere to hold the tent up. So in fairness to uh, Ozark Trail, I did put the poles in first. I should have pulled all the lines first, but I don't think that's going to matter all that much. So. And there we go. We did it. So let's check it out. What did it take me, 10 minutes or so? Admittingly, I was uh, fidgeting with my cameras a little bit, so there is that. But let's go around and take a look at the outside here. See, I am about six foot, and it's a good foot taller than me. Got some nice mesh windows here. I wanted to uh, straighten these uh, lines up a little bit. You can see this pole is slightly crooked. I'm not gonna over worry about that right now. But we got some big mesh windows. We got some seams right here. I'll check those out on the inside. I don't think they're a problem. We got roof vents up there. Another big mesh window. There's our roof vent. We have a sweet little table here. That's kind of cool. I really like this. Um, all your pockets, devices, obviously gonna be glamping in something like this. Uh, my use for this would probably be something like backyard glamping with the family or state park, you know, nothing crazy, but it's really big and roomy in here. I'm about 6'1", and I bet the the height has got to be about seven and a half feet or so. I mean, I'm six. What, where, where, somewhere in here? Uh, another foot, seven and a half, right at the peak. I can go, I got a pretty big radius of headroom in here. We got some vents up here at the roof. 
Let's pull down some of these uh, side vents. These are pretty cool. They're really big. So we've got one, two, three of these. Bring this one down as well. Let's go drop this one. And you're not gonna bake in this tent at all. If you had the, there's, there's two doors on the front. You have your screen door and then your outer rain fly door. And uh, you zip that up, you're gonna be bug free. You're gonna have four, one, two, three, four areas of air flow through here. So air can flow through in any direction. And you've got your ceiling vents, which are wonderful for at night just to let the moisture out. So you can seal everything up if you're a little chilly at night and know that you're not gonna get too crazy moisture in here. It's definitely, I believe this is built with the backyard glamping in mind. It's so big. It's got so many pockets. You got one set there one here, and then you got the little table in the middle. So my family would have a lot of fun in here. I could easily see a bunch of single air mattresses. It does say that it fits two queen air mattresses. Um, I mean, you could probably do one on either side of the table here. There's probably enough room for it. Definitely, I could fit two kids, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six are in here without even touching one another. So eight might be a little cramped, but you could do it. I have five kids. I think I could put my whole family in here. Yeah, not a problem. Overall for $110, this is a pretty cool tent. Um, you can get that backyard glamping experience without spending a fortune. Let's check out the floor and just the construction here. So you you don't have much of a tub going, well, there's no tub going on at all on the floor. Your seams are right, right level with the ground. So I wouldn't trust it to be overly waterproof. It's just a, you know, literally a, a legit tarp as a floor and no stitches are sealed at all with any uh, waterproofing tape. So I would not trust this in any serious weather. I would, yeah, we have no waterproof tape on the seams up top. If I were going to camp in here, I'd wanna be close enough to a house or a car, so if the weather got bad, I can ditch out and uh, get somewhere dry. I don't have a lot of faith that I'm gonna stay dry in this tent. So, nonetheless, for the price, compared to what I paid for um, a nice big canvas bell tent, um, it's about, I think your canvas tents are gonna start, start at 700. So you're at least 600, if not $900 cheaper than most of those tents. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button and uh, subscribe and turn on the alert so you don't miss any future gear reviews. I'm Ryan with Beyond the Tent and we'll see you next time.